So this is uh, for the minute. I have some. I have like to talk about five points with regard to overseas business trip. Should circumstances allow from April to prior to G7 meeting from April 29th, day after tomorrow, up until May 8th, I will be visiting Slovenia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, the United Kingdom, and Poland. This year, UK is the chair of G7, and Italy is the chair of G20. And so Europe will indeed be the stage for multilateral diplomacy. And also, at a time when the discussions in the EU about the Indo-Pacific is becoming very active, I think it is important that, at this timing, Japan demonstrates its presence in, the e in Europe. In particular, unity of G7 is quite important. At the G7 Foreign and Development Ministers meeting, which will take place in the United Kingdom, on the topic of regional situation as well as various issues pertaining to the global community with the counterparts of the G7 countries with whom we share basic values, I would like to have candid exchange of views. Second point, as uh, last uh, Saturday, there was uh, ASEAN's uh, leaders uh, meeting as in my statement issued this morning, the government of Japan welcomes the five-point consensus announced as a result of the ASEAN leaders' meeting held on the 24th of uh, April as a step uh, toward improving the situation, and the government of Japan highly values the efforts of ASEAN. Going forward, it is important for the consensus to produce tangible results. If Myanmar military Fierce violence against the people of Myanmar, Myanmar were to continue, there inevitably impacts on activities of Japanese companies on the ground and on future investments. Japan will continue to work and cooperate with relevant countries, including ASEAN, and strongly demand the Myanmar military to stop violence, release detainees, and to restore Myanmar democratic political system. The third point, this relates to the Diplomatic Blue Book. At the Cabinet meeting today, we distributed the Diplomatic Blue Book of 2021. In the Blue, in the blue Book, we in the introduction special section, we talk about response to COVID-19, in particular, the support rendered to the return of the Japanese nationals abroad, and also uh, assistance toward developing countries with vulnerable health and medical system at an unprecedented speed, as well as efforts for access to vaccine. There's detailed the description. Aside from that, there's also a reference to the U.S.-China relations, which caught a lot of attention last year, and also efforts toward the realization of free and open in the Pacific, as well as a reference to economic diplomacy inclusive of Japan, UK, EPA, which went into effect last year. You'll be able to take a look at uh, the Blue Book at uh, our ministry's webpage. And also, the booklet will be made available from the end of June this year. So we would like to we expect to see deep understanding in and outside Japan on Japan's diplomacy that plays a leading role in the rulemaking in post-corona era. Thank you. The fourth point uh, with regards to our assistance to developing countries. Japan is advancing last one-mile support to assist the building of cold chain to deliver vaccines to everyone in developing countries. On the 9th of March, as the first attempt, we decided to support Southeast Asia, Southwest Asia, and Pacific Island countries. And 500 vaccine transportation containers arrived at uh, Sri Lanka this weekend. And today, as the second step, we decided on the four point 4.2 billion yen emerging emergency grant aid to build a cold chain, among others, uh, in 31 countries in Africa and Central and South America. Leveraging Japan's strength, uh, we will advance our assistance at an unprecedented speed. The fifth point. This relates to the carrier strike group of the United Kingdom. Yesterday, the United Kingdom announced the visit to Japan by its carrier strike group led by carrier carrier, Queen Elizabeth. This is to concretize United Kingdom's tilt to the Indo-Pacific. And we welcome this as it will further promote cooperation between Japan and the United Kingdom in security and defense, which have been, become very strong in the recent years. And also, the carrier strike group will be joined by the Dutch Navy frigate, which we also welcome as Japan. 
Good. That's all from me. Your questions, please. Uh, there is a diplomatic uh, schedule after this, so please be succinct. Please raise your hand, and uh, when your names are called, please move, move, from, proceed to the microphone and state your name and affiliation. Kashimoto san. Kashimoto, TBS. A Chinese uh, Foreign Ministry's uh, press secretary, uh, John, last night uh, he, on his Twitter account, Alpus tweeted what a release uh, he tweeted uh, using caricature. Uh, he is a foreign ministry, a press uh, secretary. Uh, he has been. Uh, have you seen the tweet? And uh, please share your thoughts and observations. And uh, do you have a plan to communicate on this issue to the uh, to the Chinese counterpart? I've seen the Twitter. It's a tweet by a press secretary. A press secretary. So uh, I, as the foreign minister, will not comment on each and every one of these tweets uh, through the diplomatic channels. Immediately, we have issued a severe protest, and we have asked the Chinese uh, China to re delete. Thank you. Next question, please. Yes, go ahead. South of Front Asahi. I would like to ask about the diplomatic blue book. With regard to the diplomatic blue book, I understand that the foreign ministry of South Korea has stressed that uh, the Takeshima Island is under their sovereignty and that they have lodged a protest. How would I to respond to the response by the Koreans? And also with regard to comfort info women, the Koreans have asked this those soul searching by the Japanese. How do you intend to address the bilateral relations going forward? Yes, indeed. With regard to description in relation to South Korea in the Diplomatic Blue Book, with regard to Takeshima Island and its so-called comfort women issue, there have been protests lodged by the Koreans. But based on the consistent position of Japan, we have said that we cannot accept their protest. The, Japan, the relations between Japan and South Korea, because of these former civilian, uh, former civilian workers from South Korea and covered issue is in a very difficult situation. At the same time, inclusive of the response to North Korea, the co uh, coordination between Japan and Korea and Japan, uh, Japan, US and Korea is indispensable. Thank you. Other questions? Azahari-san. Japan has been uh, one of the biggest supporters, if not the uh, only the biggest one uh, for Palestinians and the Middle East peace process. And uh, it called uh, Israel, called on Israel many times to withdraw from occupied territory. Uh, however, Israeli occupation forces clashed with Palestinian civilians uh, uh, recently and still, I think, in East Jerusalem and seemed to be supporting the provocation acts of illegal Israeli settlers around the Aqsa Mosque. So what is Japan's position on the latest development? Thank you. As far as the government of Japan is concerned, uh, rising tensions in Jerusalem and Gaza and in surrounding areas, uh, uh, we are very, uh, seriously deeply concerned about the damage caused on civilians and uh, rising tensions. And uh, we condemned uh, the attack on the civilians by, from Gaza district to, by rocket bombing. Issues facing Israel and Palestinians should not be resolved by violence. It should can only be resolved uh, by negotiations between parties and uh, efforts to build confidence. That concludes the press conference. Thank you very much, all, all of you.